Hey guys, welcome back to another video today, and today we're going to be going over everything you know about the upcoming jailbreak update happening later today, and yes, I'll be live streaming it later today as well. Right behind me, you guys can see that the prison is on fire, and that is because we're going to get a new prison, which I'm going to be going over today, and everything else coming to this update. Okay, so first of all, let's just go ahead and go over the new prison first. So Bedemus is over here introducing the all-new prison, new escapes, new cells and floor plans, throwback our veterans may recognize, spotlights, and new features. We can't wait to show you this update in June. Check out our sneak peek below. I'm going to go ahead and go to YouTube because, you know, Twitter compresses the quality and I just want to go to YouTube to do this. All right, here is the video on YouTube. It's only like 16 seconds long, so I'm just going to go ahead and play it and just react to it. So here we go. All right, there we go. So introducing an all new prison. You can see the prison there. And there's like a bunch of frames that just went over really quickly. There's also like a gun shop. You know, we just got to slow down a little bit, but I'm going to let this play. All right, there you go. And here's the familiar space. I'm going to go over that as well. And yeah, it's already over. The video's already over. It's only 16 seconds. So let's go ahead and start from the beginning. This is the overlay of the prison. You can see everything here. It's all been revamped. There's also this water tower right here, which wasn't there before. And you can see the, the spotlights, or I guess the guard towers. Those have been revamped as well. The prison, everything has been revamped. I also believe there is a basketball court, if I'm not wrong. I think Asimo did show this over here. We really started from scratch on this prison and made sure every detail was fresh while keeping a familiar layout. And here's what the prison looked like a month ago in my personal files. So Seema's been working from this from scratch. And look at that. There's the basketball court. So I was thinking there might be a basketball court, right? If it, if I'm right, it should be right over there. Anyway, I'm just going to keep on playing the video right here. So we get a closer look. Um, also, you guys can kind of see inside. So you can see that this might be in the cafeteria. Area. I'm not really too certain. But yeah, you can see a little closer look. Here's the parking lot. There it is. There's the parking lot. And the building has been changed. Instead of like white and blue, it's black and blue. Or maybe that's dark blue. I'm not, I'm not too sure. But you can see it's been changed. Also, the guard towers with the spotlights. We kind of did see that as well. All right, anyway, there's a new location. So here's like the cell area. There's actually like two stories. So that's interesting. I mean, I guess there was two stories, you know, in the regular jailbreak prison. Like if we go there right now, I guess there's technically two stories. But, uh, you know, most of it is underground. There's only like these three cells right here, which is like above the story. Okay, well, no, these are four. Okay, but uh, and most of it is downstairs. You know what I'm saying? Okay, anyway, let's keep on going through this video. So Simo goes down here. Oh, okay, here's the part I'm a bit confused about. There's, uh, I guess, there's, like a gun shop in the middle. Little, maybe is this the visitor area? I'm, I'm actually not too sure. That looks like the visitor area because look, it's like red right here. So uh, why is there a gun shop in the visitor area? I don't know, but okay. And uh, okay, yeah, here's the new escape. So there's like a new sewer escape which looks like an actual sewer because, you know, you can see all the, the goo right there. All right, I like how really well detailed it is. And then also these are like the new escapes we got to go over. So I think there's like um, air shaft escape. And then what is this? I guess punching the electric box is still here. And then here's the part, familiar spaces. So if you guys don't know, this is actually the old prison layout in like 2017. And now here is the new one. So it's a bit familiar. I like that. I seems putting back the OG stuff, kind of, you know. And then here's a telephone room. Room. I guess that's back as well, and and there we go. Prison update coming June. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a like. I see we said this over here on escapes. It's important to note that we won't ever make anything too difficult or drawn out. We do replace the overly simple E to blow up wall. Jailbreak at its core since day one has escapes like the punch box, and we want to keep it that way. I see also says over here we're working on some new gameplay mechanics, but may not announce them if we don't, you know, do testing, and then we'll see. Focus largely remains on the prison and season 16 prize reels next week. So that means next week we'll have another update and it's for season 16. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and go over some new information. So over here, Bademo announced a few announcements today. Rolling, beta, dodge attacks or boost. It's in beta, we'll collect your feedback. Then mobile garage for free to play players will allow spawning vehicles up to $100,000. And then we've patched the heli rope rooftop glitch. So those are like the three new announcements right here. But first of all, let's go check out this video. So here it is and you can basically roll to dodge attacks or you can boost yourself by going like further and I think this is actually a really cool feature because you can actually have a good getaway of it and you can dodge attacks. Like, okay, that's pretty, I guess, neat in my opinion. And then people who don't have the mobile garage game pass can now spawn up to $100,000. So the vehicle has to cost like less than $100,000 for it. you to spawn it in. I guess the Lamborghini might count because it says up to $100,000. So Lamborghini is directly at 100000 you know? Okay. But yeah, this is a good feature because, you know, people who don't have enough Robux can now spawn in more vehicles. And then finally, they pass 
patch the Heli Rogue glitch, which has been here for a very long time, and they finally patched it. Asima also says this is an experimental feature, and if it's like too weird, he might remove it. Alright, anyway, let's keep on going over here, because I didn't go over this yet, but there's 30 new furniture items coming this update, and it's made by the community, so let's go ahead and go over all of it. There's like a lot, there's this whole video that's like 50 seconds long, so let's go ahead and go over it, but there's actually something more. Okay, so new vehicle skins made by Ekalon, introducing watermelon, dragon scale, and nuclear waste, and these are three skins by Ekalon, who is one of the best community creators for skins, and here they are, I guess my favorite, I mean, I gotta say it's the watermelon, because it's summer, I don't know, you guys can let me know, are you guys on summer break yet, because I'm, I'm, I think I'm on, I'm on summer break, anyway, let me go ahead and just go over this, this is like 50 seconds long, so let's go ahead and just start, so over here, modern artwork, and then I'm just keep on reading through this, seafloor aquarium, and then we got blue DJ booth, and then just go through here, bomb chandelier. Okay, that that is interesting. And then we got outlets plus more, made by Shadow Samurai. And then we got a uh, orbital chandelier. And then we got oh super suit display. Actually, this looks really good. And then moving on, we got the retro computer. All right, I would definitely use this. And then we got the conspiracy board, confetti cannon, and then we got a carriage. Is that carriage drumstick? Okay. And oh no, that's garage. I, I couldn't really see that. Well, I was weird. Garage drum set. Okay, that, that, that makes more sense. And then after that, blue lava lamp. Blue lava lamp. That, that is cool. And we got the modern kitchen. I uh, got kitchen island. And this is all made by Maze right here. So this actually connects. It's like a whole set right here. And we got the driftwood shelves. Bunk sofa. Oak armchair. Fine oak. Okay, this is like a whole set right here as well. And then we got the modern king bed. And then the fancy wall lamp. And then the fancy fireplace. Ooh, I definitely would use that. And then we got, finally, the giant cat plush. And this last one is the modern artwork. Oh, hold on. I think I just went over that already. Yeah, that's that. That's already it. Okay, and the last thing that we want to go over is, of course, this jailbreak newspaper. I'm pretty sure you guys already saw this, but in case you didn't see this, it's basically that jailbreak got attacked by a flying robot, which is the skate bot, by some mysterious dude. And this is some jailbreak lore that you can kind of go over. Um, but yeah, basically, jailbreak was attacked, and the HQ was destroyed, and also the prison was destroyed and basically a new HQ and a new prison will be. Speaking of which, Asimo has not shown the new HQ yet and that's because he's probably going to announce it later, maybe like in an hour or two or something. So I'm of course not going to see it yet, but there's going to be a new HQ. It's going to get relocated. So here's the new prison right here. Well, I guess it's not a new prison. This is the old prison. But, uh, yeah, this is going to become a new prison within, like, today. And then, also, the HQ is going to be relocated to somewhere else, which I would think be in the city as well. Over here, I think some good information is that this person asked if there's going to be some stamina or cooldown for this rolling thing. And Asimo says, uh, currently around 5 seconds per roll, we don't want this to be a new way to run faster, which I think it's going to be definitely a way to run faster. If you guys don't know, if you swing your sword a little bit, you can actually run faster. So, I see people doing this. So, this is definitely going to be a way to go and give yourself a speed boost like i'm i'm 100 sure like yeah depends on the cooldown i'm pretty sure there's going to be a hefty cooldown because a simple doesn't want this to be too op and it definitely does seem op if you could use it every single second so i would expect maybe like a 30 to one minute second cooldown well 30 second to one minute cooldown anyway let me know your thoughts on this update yes i will be live streaming it and yeah i'm actually gonna be pretty excited for this update because i'm actually gonna get out of school and then finally there's an update so yay anyway thank you guys for watching this video i'm pretty happy for the summer and let me know down below your thoughts if you guys not make sure you like and subscribe that'll be cool and i'll catch you guys next time bye